Welcome to WebAssign Completing Assignments. Our agenda for this video is to guide you through the steps of accessing your assignments. We'll walk through some assignment options, how to answer questions, and lastly submitting assignments for grades. So let's go ahead and get started. Your instructor will likely have created a variety of assignments for you to take during your course. Assignments are the work you do for your class in WebAssign and might include homework, quizzes, labs, and or tests. Depending on the assignment, you may have a limited number of answer submissions, a time limit, a restriction on tutorial links, and so on. The assignment instructions and parameters are determined by your instructor. You'll get started by logging into your student account. If you have more than one course, use the drop-down menu to select the course you want to work in. You can view and access your course assignments from several areas. From the home page, click the My Assignments link in the upper left menu bar. You can click on your calendar icon to see and access your assignments by clicking on the assignment title within the due date. Or simply click the Current Assignments link in the My Assignments module on the home page. Wherever you choose to access your assignment, to begin an assignment, click on the assignment title. Once the assignment page is loaded, you will see links to valuable information about your assignment score, submission options, and saving your work in progress. Within each question, there may also be enhanced action links to use tutorial materials such as ebook content, videos, animation, active figures, simulation, and practice problems. The links available may vary from one assignment to another and your instructor has the ability to turn on and off many of the options in your assignment. At the top of your assignment, you can view your current score and the assignment due date. If enabled by your instructor, you can request an extension by clicking the Extension Request link. For a manual submission, enter a date you would like to have the assignment extended to and a reason. Click the link to print your assignment. Navigate by scrolling or clicking on the question number in the question map at the top of your assignment. At the question level, view points, a link to previous answers, your question ID, and the number of submission used and the number of submissions allowed. The My Notes link will allow you to enter and save notes per question. If enabled, the Ask Your Teacher link will allow you to ask your instructor questions while in the assignment at the question level which your instructor can view and respond to. You may be asked to show your work, which you can enter into a question field and use the Insert Math button to use the math tools. Or you can upload a file that shows your work by clicking on Upload File. Various tutorial links may be included with each homework assignment. Click the Read It button to open the corresponding ebook pages. Click the Watch It button to view video solutions of a problem similar to the one assigned. The Master It button will provide you with a step tutorial problem similar to your assigned one. WebAssign uses a variety of question types that you are probably already familiar with, such as multiple choice, multiple choice with a drop down menu, and multiple choice by selection. You may see numerical questions. You can use your keyboard to input. You may also have a math pad, calc pad, or physics pad you can use to enter correctly formatted mathematical equations. Click on the answer box to have the palette appear. You can use the various graphing tools to enter answers for graph questions. You may see tutorial questions that break down complicated concepts and procedures into steps. There are multiple ways to save and submit answers in WebAssign. You can view how the assignment submissions are set. Here, you can view the assignment scoring strategy. Your progress on an assignment is automatically saved. Answers are auto-saved within three seconds, but saved answers do not receive credit until you submit them. Discard your saved work for a question by clicking Revert to the last response at the bottom of the question. To submit answers for grading, be sure to click the Submit Answers button for each question. You can submit one question at a time, or you can submit one question part at a time. This may depend on the assignment setting determined by your instructor. After you've submitted each question, your assignment is complete and you can navigate back to your homepage. For additional help and resources, visit our training and support sites.